Hey guys, Cajun Resaw here. I got you with another Wetzel video. It's for week 38 of 2023, I believe. Uh, after getting back from Arkansas. Starting out with some sales on Amazon. Each of these, like 7 bucks plus shipping for this guy and like 12 plus shipping for this guy. Paid 6 bucks for them originally, so this one I'm not going to make much money. This one I might make a little bit. <laughs> also sold some more Beanie Boos on eBay. These sold for like 11 or 12 bucks plus shipping, I believe. Um, paid 50 cents or less for each one of these. are farm animals. This was from the Highway 127 sale, Antioch Photographer Hat. Antioch is part of Shriners uh, Children's Hospital, I think. Got that little thing in back as well. This is going overseas, I think, to Australia um, via eBay International Shipping. Sold for $70 plus shipping. This Kyle Larson card sold for 12 bucks. I paid like five or six, so might break even on that. Leapfrog cars, sealed, which is why it's worth $30. A Steelers shirt. I got this, I think, whenever I was up in Pittsburgh last year for the Saints and Steelers game, which, unfortunately, the Steelers won. But this shirt sold for, like, 12 bucks. I'm going to make a little bit of money on that. Two little Tsum Tsums. They make noise. <laughs> this one makes noise. This one doesn't work. But Ariel and Cinderella. They sold for, like, 13 or 14 bucks. That thing will probably make noise the whole trip, uh, wherever it's going. Two cards. I haven't sold any cards in a long time. Unfortunately, this one sold when I was... I didn't put the store on time away mode, so I got probably got a ding for not shipping it in fast enough time, but I did ship it out. It's a Lee Pard Pokemon card. It only sold for 99 cents, so it really wasn't worth, <laughs> wasn't worth selling. This one, Bigfoot Illuminati card. I don't know if you're able to see it that well or not, but if you ever see Illuminati cards, um, that's what they kind of look like. I picked up a huge pack of these for 40 cents. Sold one for $100. This one sold for $9 plus shipping. What else we got here? Zoom Buddy Webkins plush. This sold for like $14. A puzzle sold for $14 as well. It's an LSU puzzle. Uh, I just never got around to putting it together. This is Bessie from TY Attic Treasures. This one sold for like $25, I think, plus shipping. The best sale probably is this Boo Rific Build a Bear bat. Um, usually Halloween themed Build a Bear can be decent. This one I've had for a long time. I paid a dollar or two for it, but it sold for $61. So I will take that sale any day. These Maxell blank VHS tapes sold for $19 plus shipping. I don't know what I paid for those. Probably 2 or $3. And last but not least, another Kentucky Derby Festival poster. The same buyer has bought all three of these so far. <laughs> they, I've sold three. They've all gone to the same buyer in Georgia. Somewhere in Georgia they've gone to. So yeah, sold for $49.99 plus shipping. I did get some boxes to fit these in. So now I can ship them in like 18 by 18 by four boxes. So they should be able to go pretty cheaply shipping because they're not going to weigh much. Uh, they might even be able to go USPS ground and manage uh, the old first class rate, but we'll find out whenever I try and print the shipping, which I can't do right now because my internet's Cox internet. If you ever, if you know what Cox internet is, you know how bad it is. It's not working right now. So yeah, I got to use my phone's uh, hotspot to be able to print out labels. Go Cox. <laughs> and that's it for the sales to start out the week. Here are the sales for today. Got two Poshmark sales going out today. First up is this Light Fury plush. Showed this in a recent garage sale video. Paid like three or four bucks for this at a garage sale. Sold for $40 plus shipping on Posh. Also on Poshmark, I sold this Lowrance Eye Finder. It's some kind of hiking GPS, I think. And it also came with the like instructions manuals and stuff like that. So all of these as well. It's Expedition Mapping GPS and MP3 player. So cool find there. I remember, I probably paid four or five bucks for that. eBay. This Fobby Squishmallow, probably paid 11 at Albertsons last year, sold for $20 plus ship. This little Panasonic remote control stereo radio cassette. This, I probably paid like three, less than $5 for it, I know that. Sold for $50 plus shipping. Amazon sales. Bree the Witch sold for $37 bucks plus shipping. Uh, I'm going to pay $15 in shipping, so I think I'll make... A couple dollars on it, but I'm just trying to get rid of it at this point. Blaze sold for $20 plus shipping. I paid six for Blaze originally. Mercari sale, this Psycho Bunny shirt. I got this out of a storage unit, I think, recently. And it sold for $38 bucks on Mercari. $38 with free ship on Mercari. This Squishmallow, oh, not Squishmallow. This Fingerling sold for like seven bucks plus shipping on eBay. Not much money, but it wasn't selling on Amazon, so I had to sell it on eBay. And then four of these. Y'all saw me find these in the bins in Mobile a while ago now, but they finally got around to selling. It is the Philadelphia Doctorate Course Lecture Volume 1, 2, 3, and 4. Uh, they will ship media mail, luckily. <laughs> I will make sure to pad them when I ship the media mail, but uh, they will ship media mail. It's for, they probably weigh a good, 
close to 10 pounds if I had to guess. But yeah, that's it for sales for today, I believe. And I still have an, have an Amazon box back here, so I'm shipping some stuff into Amazon. So trying to clear out some inventory. <laughs> Fourth quarter's coming up. Get those items listed. See y'all in the next clip. Here are the sales for today. Uh, not too many. <laughs> Probably like seven orders going out, which isn't bad for a day. This Harley Davidson shirt, it's Baton Rouge Harley Davidson with a crawfish on it. Sold for like $14. I think it was with free shipping, but I, you know, I paid like a dollar for that originally, so I'm not too upset about that sale. This guy sold for $11 free shipping. <laughs> not much money there. He did have a stain. I shouldn't have bought him originally. Maggie, the Stingray, sold for like $15. Probably paid five for her originally. Amazon sales. This Zero sold for like 27 plus ship. Unfortunately, I paid 25 for him, so I'm not going to make, I'm going to lose money on him. I can guarantee it. This Zero, so both of them sold. This one sold for like $20 plus shipping. I'll make a little bit on that one. I've got, I paid way too much for those originally at like Learning Express, I think is the store here, or uh, uh, Ultimate Party Store was also one. This one was a good sale though. $60 plus shipping for Civi. I paid like $10 for Civi clearance down last year at Walgreens. It was a Christmas exclusive. Well, maybe not exclusive, but a Christmas item. The last sale, um, random sale. Overalls, no boundaries. Sold on Mercari for $25 with free shipping. They were, it was new with tags. It came out of a storage unit, but I was able to, you know, I surveyed it. There was no stains or anything like that on it. So I still sold it as new. Sometimes it's probably not the best idea, but to me it looked new um, and there was no rips or stains on it. So that's it for sales for today. Here are the sales for today. Starting out with these Air Jordan shoes. These sold for like $40 plus shipping. I think I paid originally five to 10 for those. Next up, two Poshmark sales. This Walmart Associates jersey. Uh, I think that's what it says on it. <laughs> it sold for like $14 plus shipping on Posh. That came out of a storage unit. I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, it came out of a storage unit. This came from the Highway Byway sales. T.O. Terrell Owens jersey. Sold for $37 plus shipping on Posh eBay sold this technical manual from Woodcock Johnson. It's the last item from the Woodcock Johnson that I had. I, if y'all remember that storage unit I found where I found sold the one like test achievements things for like a thousand, and I sold some other stuff. Probably made close to fifteen hundred dollars just on that for a like forty dollars storage unit. Next up, this Jelly Cat. <laughs> this one is like a tulip Jelly Cat. Still has the tags. I got it at a yard sale for I think three or four dollars. Says originally right there twenty five. Sold for twenty seven. Um, plus shipping, I believe. And now going on to the last sale on eBay, which coordinates with the sales on Amazon. These two branch, these two sold for fifteen dollars, seven fifty each, plus like four dollars in shipping. I think not a bad sale there. Then I sold three Barb Trolls. If I can find the other one, there it is. These sold for fourteen dollars each on Amazon plus shipping. I paid a dollar each for those trolls. And I also sold two of Poppy. I think that's who this is. Yeah, Poppy. Sold for $12.35 plus shipping. And then last but not least, uh, Tiny Diamond, which is this one. Sold for $7 plus shipping on Amazon. So I finally found where the trolls were up in one of my inventory rooms and just trying to get rid of stuff. And figured, you know, for a dollar, turn it into $12 for some, 7 for this one and 14 for the others. Might as well go ahead and list them, get them out of there. So that's it for sales for today. Here are my weekend sales. Starting out with Amazon. I got close to 15 orders going out on Amazon. First up being Fooly. Found another one of these. Sold for like $20 plus shipping. Paid a dollar or two at Walmart. Clearance down a while ago. Sold some more Trolls. These two for like 14 plus ship, I think. This one only sold for seven plus ship. Remember I paid like $1.50, $1.59 for each one of these, I think. Uh, these two sold for like 14 or 15 as well. Barb, <laughs> this one I will click. I'll take the sticker off and get a dollar fifty, a dollar sixty-five. So I paid for this with tax. So this one sold for like fifteen plus ship as well. Squishmallows going out. Tally the vampire cat sold for like twenty-five plus ship. I paid six or no, I paid six ninety-nine plus tax for that one. Ellie the elephant sold for like fifteen plus ship. Paid a dollar for her. Clinic the cow sold for like thirteen plus ship along with Kate and the cow for thirteen plus ship. Um, paid like ten or eleven for each one of these. So I'm gonna. Just trying to break even or make a little bit of money. Probably gonna lose money actually. <clears throat> Princess of the Lion sold for 88 plus ship, paid four dollars, clearance down like four years ago. Evangelica clip sold for 24 plus ship, paid six. This little guy, Hocus Pocus, I think is what it was called. 
Hocus Pocus, yes. <laughs> Halloween, uh, Beanie Buddy, Beanie Boo, not Buddy, Beanie Boo. Sold for like 10 or 11 plus ship, paid $2 for that, I think. Kion paid eight, sold for 21 plus ship. Found all the, recently got some of these, I'm gonna be selling, hopefully be selling more of these. They're like 10 or 11 of those to sell. Moving on to eBay, this glove sold for $20 plus shipping, paid two or three for that. Sherry, the unicorn sold for $9.50 free ship. I don't know. I have I have paid a dollar for this, so I got a lot of them. I need to try and get them sold. This Tommy Bahama shirt sold for fourteen free ship. I got another shirt back here. I'm trying to get to <laughs> these backyardigans. Paid a dollar each for these. They sold for thirty dollars plus shipping on eBay. Oh, there it is. I don't think I ever showed it. Did I? I don't think I showed it in this video. Vintage silk. I showed it in the pre-recorded for Instagram. If y'all want to see a shortened version of what I sell, go to Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. Just hit a thousand followers on Instagram, actually. This vintage silk shirt sold for fifteen. Uh, this in focus dress. Got this out of a storage unit. Usually I don't list women's clothing, but sold for thirty dollars free ship. It was new with tags. Still had the tags. It came from Ross, but it still had this tag on it. So in focus studio. It's a cool little. Uh, I don't know what you what kind of dress you call, it, but it is a dress. That's what I labeled it as. Someone bought it. Spot it. Sold for 10 or 11 dollars. Got this at a yard sale. That uh, I think I saw uh, shed flips, garage flips. That one is there. And then two Poshmark sales. This Philadelphia Phillies Jim Tomey jersey came from Winston Salem Benz, and I was up there for uh, the event last year. And then this Pound Puppies Camp Hideaway toy sold for 10 dollars plus shipping on Poshmark. And I paid a dollar for that, and this was free to me at this point. So that's it for this video. Thanks for coming along, guys. Don't forget to leave a like, comment with your favorite sale. Um, I don't remember, maybe those, those, all those lectures that I showed in the first clip of this video, just because I've had those forever, and I'm glad to see them gone. I got more space up there to put stuff. Uh, and I know I have boxes up there. But yeah, and uh, subscribe to subscribe. Thanks for watching.